So, dear students, we are today we are going to discuss about preparing lesson plans. How lesson plans are prepared? What is the process of preparing lesson plans? This is not a new concept for you all. This is how you work. How lesson plans really work with the things. And here, what are the major idea that we need to focus on? For example, you see on the agenda screen, many scholars around the world like Penny Orr or Jeremy Harmer or many other scholars, they believe that there are six elements, objectives, content concepts, learning strategies, resources and aids, design and assessment, and evaluate and improving things. And basically objectives, strategies, and assessment along the content, what we simply call evaluation, are the basic focus in lesson planning. When you prepare lesson, we need to focus on design. What design is, what timings are, and what activities are. Here we come with the things first. So when I say design, we focus on which method will you select? Which Technique will you select? You might have read different methods, different techniques. Now those you are reading, those knowledge, that very theory is the time to bring inside the classroom, inside lesson planning. To prepare a lesson plan, a learner need to have the knowledge of theory, what we call ELT methodology ELT methods and timings many people say it's it was one period 45 minutes it's very easy but for me how do you divide 45 minutes matters a lot 10 12 13 and 8 if I say it's it's more wrong here here it might be five minutes so this 10 20 25 30 and how do i make maintain 45 minutes it's different thing and activity the most important thing is what is the interaction between teacher and student who speaks much more we talk about three things t t t it means teacher talking time Right, and yes, T, T, student, talking, time. Then we go to the other discussions. When we talk about lesson plan, we need to focus on the formatting. What are the major things that we need to focus on, right? What are the things that you need to look on, right? This is what you need to you need to highlight highlight on the things so when i say lesson planning when i say lesson planning we need to think which process we believe again i'm sharing the idea either is objectives activities assessment these three key elements are useful in every lesson discussions. So when I talk about formatting, as I told you earlier, we talk about the different formats, how we go with things, how things work on. For example, if I say one more idea focusing on hair, it might say hair like this. Practice teaching discussion 2077. Just a minute. 
プランニングへレッスン。Here we talk about the discussion of I'll come to the options here. Let me talk with the voice options. It's a natural English,、uh, particularly in the United States. Okay, here we go with the discussions here and we go with the stuff, how it works. So, the voice options it says how we talk about lesson planning. Practice teaching discussion 2077 133. Planning a lesson. Lesson planning, managing time and activities. Key discussion. Teaching materials refer to all the materials that can be used in classroom situation to facilitate learning. Teaching materials are anything that facilitates teaching learning environment mainly to impart abstract information. Teaching aids help teacher improve her teaching for teacher can use such things to clarify, establish, correlate and coordinate accurate concepts, interpretations and appreciations.、Let's、well, moving to the discussion here, if you see how things work here, for example, they are the materials that particularly we use in designing the lessons, designing the options here. So, when I say,、uh, when I talk about the things first, right? When I talk about the things first, we need, to, we need to look on things. What does material mean here, right? Let me come up with the things first. What does material mean? How material w o r k on? So, first, it is used. Our focus is facilitate learning. Can you see the screen, guys? Quick check. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, yes. Yes. Second is it facilitates here. Third is to improve ourselves. Teaching does not mean you use, you use discussion. It facilitates whether you can use or you can't use. And next, it's an art. That's why the scholars like Orr talks saying planning a lesson and painting a picture are similar. How much? Everyone can paint the picture. But can you color it? Can you match the color? Your coloring really matters a lot. That's why, if you see, dear students, if you see on the screen, like here, teaching a grammar can be presentation, practice, production activity. Teaching an activity can be different. Teaching a pre task and post task can be different. So there are different sorts of activity that we need to focus on. Well, in earlier discussion, I was sharing you, right? I was sharing with you with the different options. What are the options of preparing a lesson? Is very important. Let's quick check, okay? What are the options of preparing lesson? You are talking about lesson plan. You know, there is objective, there is a grammar, there is a structure, there is objective, there is instructional activities. But how? You simply write after you write objectives and, and activate lexical items here. You talk about presentation, you talk about practice, right? You talk about practice. Then, after you talk about practice and you talk about performance. But the most important thing that you need to think is how long will you take for presentation? How long will you take for practice? And how long will you take for performance? It differs. So, what are the activities? Don't forget strategies, steps, and the time division you particularly prepare here. Then we have option two. Option two, as I said earlier, it's more detailed activity, relation feed, topic, and context, material or equipment to be used, aims, assumed knowledge of students. Anticipated problems, and before we enter the class, we need to think up what might be the possible question the students might ask in my lesson. Look at here, think very carefully. What is the assumed knowledge? Because when a student from grade eight to grade nine he goes to grade nine or he's upgraded, he has some, he possesses some knowledge. So here we have timing, procedure, interaction. Objectives and tutors comment. I'll show you example of this lesson plan after a few minutes. Then next we have option three. 
Option three is skeleton of lesson plan. If you are teaching skills, we are leading warm up pre-teaching, while teaching, post-teaching, which is different from grammar teaching and communicative methods. And next, we have assessment and homework, which are common to all. Then next, we have cooperative-based language teaching, content-based language teaching, or you lingual based language teaching. Depending upon the methods, your language strategy, language teaching might vary. For example, if you are saying here, what is the topic? What is the design? What is a lesson objective? Design element, structural element, content, and notes. And cooperative learning is mostly helpful for secondary and higher secondary or higher grades because you prepare the notes and you share your discussion as well. Next. For example, this is some general lesson plan that you have studied in your, in your early grades. Like here, particularly in, in bachelor's, when you have a practice teaching, you might have studied this. Suppose we write school teacher, school subject, period, unit one, time can be 45 minutes, and the teaching item can be grammar or skills or story or essay. Here I have selected sub structure that is causative verbs. So what, for example, objectives, instructional materials, right? Then warm up procedure. We have a warm up. Warm up means you engage the learners in different interaction. For example, if you see the warm up activity, like instructional materials means we use sentence card. We here we are focusing on the objective as a structure, but warm up. How many minutes warm up? Three minutes. And what do I do in three minutes? I sing a song that can be a chant using. They, they not only singing on the song. Why I'll be singing the song? Because I will be focusing on cognitive verbs. Then I'll go on presentation. Teacher writes some sentences on the whiteboard to elicit. And what are that sum? Sum is a vague word. So to specify the word sum, I have used the sentences here, like the sentences. So dear students, or dear listeners, or dear viewers, when you prepare lesson plan, it's not only for you. Imagine the day if you are absent in the classroom or, uh, or colleges. You, by looking at your lesson plan, we assume that any other your substitute, substitute teacher should be able to teach the lesson. And that's the gravity of lesson plan. So the teacher asks to analyze the sentences, right? And then after proceed further, we have a practice for 10 minutes and we have production for 12 minutes in this way 45 minutes and finally we give our things and when you give homework the students must be able to do that because of your discussion that you have done don't give no thing is a homework the students that don't know then we have discussion which i said earlier this is an interactive communicative lesson plan where we talk about them of the teacher and here lesson fit does that lesson fit vocabulary on city and country related with some conversation like in page 74 of the book we have text context this pictures this and what is the aim aim or objective and what are the assumed knowledge the learners might know some vocabs related to city and country life right and what are some prepositions that i'll be using at here as as the discussion on under thoughts and anticipated problems means they might have some problems in pronouncing vocab. This they might solution can be what can the solutions? Solution can be correct pronunciation, focusing on the stretch and showing pictures. Then, not only that, this is another one. How long will I teach? I teach. I do lead in a warm up from 12:10 to 12:15. Then, what is the stage? Leading and what do I do? Teacher elicits the whole class. And how do I elicit? I ask these questions. Now come and write down the places in whiteboard. WB means whiteboard that you find the city or country in your column. Write only one, only one place. Don't repeat. So these are the things that you need to focus on. And here, what is the interaction? The interaction is between teacher and student because teacher elicits students' rights. And here's an interaction. And what is the aim of this? To motivate the learners into a lesson. Look, individual stage wise also we can elaborate this. Normally we use in Delta and Celta courses of this kind of lesson plans, particularly while teaching in international context. Right, teacher tells students, look at the teachers. 
right? And I, I, I remember this using this lesson plan when I used to work as, uh, as a teacher trainer in various council projects. So this kind of lesson plan is particularly used. When we go to the in-depth discussion, teachers tell students, look at that page number 80 and, and number two and fill in the gaps using the words from exercise one, they have three minutes. Even you set up the time, how long? And teach, what does teachers do? Teachers monitors, but what is the activity? The activity is going between students and students only. And what is the aim? To fill up the vocab banks, vocab blanks. And this is how we have, even if, let's play a game. Teacher and student divide into two groups. Group one is for country and group two is for city. Group one will be speaking and group two will be listening and check mistakes. Again, you check concept. We will be speaking, ask them. And who will be listening, ask them. And this is what we call concept checking questions. Dear students, are you getting to me? Yes, sir. Great. Then after we go furthermore with, sure. with, with designing materials and we design them into detail, the lesson plan might go more than a page as well. This is how we discuss about what a lesson is, how a lesson works, and what are the options in using lesson plans. These are the things that we need to focus.